Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the quad fish, the crisscross quad fish. So um, this one's kind of broken. This is what it turned out to look like with the beaded bands and the beaded ones are the pink ones. This one I just finished making today for my cousin. I'm gonna give it to him. And this one's just like this weird ball thing that I made. But anyways, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need your monster tail. I'm starting to do my videos on the monster tail. You're going to need a hook. I am using this special metal tip hook from the um, upgraded kit, which I have a video on. And um, I'll leave the title in the description so you guys can check that out. You're also going to need a C-clip or an S-clip. And um, I have black rubber bands and pink rubber bands. So, yeah, let's get started. So you're going to take your first color. And you're going to make an X like you were about to make a fish tail. Now you're going to do the same thing right next to it. Like that. Your, your loom should look something like this. Now you're going to take your next color, which mine's pink, and go from this peg to this peg. And then make an X, like that. Now you're going to push it down. Now you're going to take two of your to your black bands, and you're going to do this, and you're going to do this. So it should look something like this now. Take your hook, you're going to go on the outside and pick up the bottom bands on every peg. Now, flip your one over so the red dot is facing on the right side, and pick up the black band, loop it over, and do the same thing right here. Now push it down. Whatever your bottom color is, you should be doing two to three colors. I'm going to be doing two. Now, since there's pink on the bottom for me, I'm going to do an X now with my pink because every pink band I do is going to be an X, and every black one I do is going to kind of be like a straight one. Now push it down. You're going to pick up the bottom color and loop it back over. Loop it over. Now flip your your uh, monster tail over. Don't why? Don't know why I kept saying loom. You're going to push it down and it should look something like this. This is what the bottom looks like and this is what the front looks like. Now I'm going to take one black band and go across. Take the next one and go across. Now you're going to take your bottom one and loop it over. Do your bottom one and loop it over. Now flip your loom over. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Now push it down. So you're basically going to do that till you get your full size of your bracelet. So I'm going to keep going and um, yeah. All right, so now I'm starting to see a little bit of the um, fish tail. Make sure you don't use stretched out bands because it's going to affect the look on this. This is what mine is look, looks like. It's kind of hard to see because it's a little small, 
but this is my quad fish so far, so I'm going to keep going, and we'll see what it looks like. And I'm holding down the bands so that so the bands don't pop up. And it just kind of makes it simpler, but you don't have to do that. It's fine. Now we're going to push it down. Now you can see a little more of the uh, crisscross quad fish. So, yeah. Now you're going to push it down, and you're going to take two more black bands and put it over the top. And flip it over and pick up the bottom bands. Now once you've reached your desired length, and you can keep going and make your full length bracelet, but I don't want to make the video too long. Are you going to leave it at two bands? Just leave it at your uh, two bands. Focus. Uh, my thing's not focusing, but yeah. This is going to be kind of for my backpack. It's going to be one of my backpack key things. But you can make yours a longer bracelet if you want. So... I'm going to show you how to finish it. You're going to grab the bottom band, which mine's pink, and just loop it on top. So you're going to do that for every side. There. And I'm going to push it down. Now you should only have black bands on the, each four pegs. You're going to pick up this band and put it from the one that's right across from it. Do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna push it down. Sorry. And now it should look like this. I'm gonna stick your hook inside, grab these two bands, and put it on this peg. So there's all four rubber bands, all four bands in there. So mine, I only did it a little bit. But if yours is not this pattern, then you may want to go back and redo it because this is how it's supposed to look. I'm going to grab an extra band. I'm going to grab an extra band. And do this and make an extra loop. And I'm going to make a slip knot. And pull it tight. Like that. Now, if you want to make it a keychain for your bag, you're going to have to get one of these clips. So, let me go grab it. Alright. You're going to need one of these clips to put onto your backpack. And this is, like, made for a zipper. I'm going to put it on these bottom bands, these bottom two bands. You're just going to hook it on like that. Now you have your little bracelet or a keychain like that. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out my video on the upgrade kit, which I'll have in the description. Bye!